Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Factorio tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on continuing the tutorial campaign um, which will lead us to level 2 so let's click on next level. Takes a little while to load and there we go. Let's zoom in again. You can see it puts down some um, machines for you which is very handy for you to get an idea of how you lay out the conveyor belts next to the machines and also um, how you use these inserters. Okay, this machine has run out of fuel so when you see these red icons with the petrol pump that's telling you it's run out of fuel. Okay, down here this looks like an abandoned mining site. I wonder what the robotic arm is for. This is the robotic arm. Let's zoom in a bit closer and walk up here. So that here you can see, if I left click on it, is a burner inserter. And it wants us to insert fuel into it because these inserter arms, the very first tier ones, use fuel. So let's grab some fuel and put it in. This is called a burner inserter. It picks up items in front of it and places them behind. So if you have a chest machine or conveyor belt here, it will pick one off of this uh, container or conveyor belt and then turn around and put it in another conveyor belt or machine or uh, chest in front of it. It can insert or unload stuff into and from machines, which is what I've just mentioned. But there we go, it's showing you a little picture. Chest to chest, uh, floor to mi machine, um, machine or furnace to conveyor belt, and chest to floor. Oh, and floor to floor. So you get the idea. Okay, so that's now moving the coal into here. Inspect the wooden chest. There might be something useful left. So if we left click on this chest Notice that with a yellow box around it. That means it's close enough to you for you to left click if you're too far away It's red. So if I left click nothing happens if I move nearer and it's yellow left click and it opens Okay, so remember if you press the control key and left click it moves it straight into your inventory but what it's done with the weapon and the ammunition is move them into the corresponding slots when enemies are close you can fire at them by holding the space bar the enemy closest to the cursor will be shot okay so providing we've got a weapon and some ammunition always keep your eye on your ammo just press the space bar and it will start shooting. Let's get the rest of this stuff out of here. Okay, so that's saying to kill them. So press the space bar. You don't need to left click. You just simply use the mouse cursor in the direction they're coming from. Press the space bar and it shoots them. Nice and simple. Phew, they are dead. But there might be more coming. I better get the production here working and prepare myself. The second inserter is reversed, so it's going this way. Rotate the inserter by pressing R while hovering the cursor over it so that it puts the iron into the stone furnace. So if we move over here, you can see that it's going this way, as denoted by the arrow. The little yellow arrows telling you which direction it's going to insert. By pressing the R key we can rotate it so it's now going to insert the iron into the furnace. When building something use R to rotate before building. So yeah. Okay if we left click we need fuel so let's put that in there. I should create some basic resource flow before I go for electric power. So now it's telling us we need to build six more and place them mining drills burner mining drills and we need to do four more stone furnaces okay so let's see we've got one burner inserter so we need more of these mining drills if we press the e key 
fact, let's first grab these plates. Now, if I press the E key, let's see if we've got enough. So, we need stone furnaces. And for that, we're going to need stone. So, guess where the next burner mining drill is going to go? Yep, on the stone. So, let's go find the stone and manually m mine it, if I can find it. Uh, if you press the M key, it brings up the map, and you can zoom right in. Okay, so let's just zoom out. There's the stone up there. Okay, so we'll run over to that, and mine ourselves some. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's do the E key. Let's create ourselves the burner mining drill. Let's now place that down on the stone. Oh, let's get out the way. Would help. So yeah, there. Okay, this needs fuel as well, and you guessed it, we're going to need some coal. So let's go down here, let's grab the coal out of here. Now you can actually, let's put that back in and show you something. So what you can do is if you press down the control key and without accessing the GUI of the container, with the control key pressed just left click and that will grab the resources out of it for you. So that's very cool as well. Now, what you can also do, if I bring up the inventory, if I do the middle mouse button, uh, let's just actually try this. Yeah, so just to show you, if you uh, press down the middle mouse button over one of these slots, it will place, uh, show you this menu and choose what you want to go in that slot so I'm going to choose coal now what you can do providing you've got coal uh, let's exit out of there oh no that wants to make it what I wanted to do is put the stack of coal on there like so then what you can do if you move over to a container and press the number it will place it in there for you or it puts it on the cursor so then you can just left click and put it in there's just so many keys to make your life easier that you will eventually get used to anyway let's grab the rest of that coal let's come up here let's make another chest um, Okay, let's put the chest there. Let's now put some coal in here. That's now going to get us the rest of the stone we need. And you can see when I place this burner mining drill down, this updated, so I need to place five more. So when we've got five stone, which there's six, seven now in there, let's just left click it out. Let's now make another one. Ah, so we need iron plate, iron. So let's go check out the iron and put some fuel into the second iron deposit there. So we'll grab the coal, come over here, left click and throw some coal in there. Let's grab some more of these plates and now we can make another mining drill. So we need five more. I don't, I've only got enough for one so let's just do that one first. Okay, now I could place this one 
I rotate it around, I can make use of that conveyor belt. So, oh wait a minute, I'm not close enough. Let's walk over. I think that's so cool the way you can ride on the conveyor belts. I do like that. Except sometimes <laughs> you can forget and you'll just be taken across the screen. Anyway, let's put that down. There we go, so that's updated. Let's grab more stone. Should have made a few by now. Yeah, we've got 35. So hopefully that will be enough to make, yep, the four we need. So one, two, three, four. We also need um, furnaces as well. So let's wait for it to finish making them. Oh, being attacked. Remember, just the space bar will shoot. Okay, right, so need to place them down now. So I'm not going to worry about using them. I'm just going to simply place them down to get the update. Uh, place one more. This is place it there, I don't really care. Okay, so now I need to make four more of these. Well, make three. So I now need some more stone. And then I should be able to make the last one I need. Okay, so now what I need to do is just place these down. So what I can do now is put this there instead of that chest. Mind you now, I think the chest is best for now. Let's just put these down. I'm going to put them just like this. There we go. If I connect it all correctly, I should be able to get the resources needed for electric power soon. I'm going to need a lot of resources if I want to start some serious expansion. So now it's saying that um, I need 150 iron plates, copper plates and coal, 75 coal. Right, for the copper plates, to when you place something down, it's not permanently placed, so simply right click and keep the right mouse button pressed and it'll pick it back up for you, just like that. Okay, let's pick this up because we need copper. Um, let's also pick this up. Okay, if I zoom out a bit, there's the copper up there. Okay, so let's place one of these down. And another one. Looking at that though, it's always best to keep them in a straight line, especially for your conveyors, although you know what, the conveyor can wrap around it, I guess. Let's do it there. Okay, let's get some fuel. And we're going to need a couple of chests. I can make one, so that'll do for now. Or should I? No, let's use the conveyor belt to make it much better. Okay, so the conveyor belt, I'll put R key to rotate it. Okay, so that's going to bring them from both furnaces down to there. If you press the Q key, remember it puts it straight back on your hotbar for you, or you can left click it back down there. Okay, so let's now put some fuel in there. And now we want to put the a furnace down, so a gap of one, and we can put that there. Okay, now what you want to do is an inserter, burner inserter. You want to turn that around so it's going to go into the furnace. And there you go, it's starting to put it in. Now what would be nice is if we get the coal 
Oh, there's the timer already. Yeah, so what would be nice now is to automate the coal being put in there as well, which would make it very much, much easier. Also, we need a second furnace for this one. As you see, the ores are building up. But I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will continue on with uh, getting these resources for this objective. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.